It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Coming up next. Where the Gator Bowl once stood, now stands this facility. Everbank Field is EA Sports coverage. And the NFL brings us to Jacksonville, Florida. Welcome to another entertaining matchup, folks. Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt on the call in this one. Brock, a couple of running backs down on the field who can really take over their offenses when they get in the groove. And I think that's going to be the ultimate goal of both of these offenses, right? I mean, there's just no confusion about it. They want to get their belt cow in that groove and get them going, find that rhythm where they're ripping off chunk yardage run after run and then just keep on feeding that beast. In a game like this, whichever offense can get that rhythm and run game going first is likely going to be your winner. since arriving as the number one overall pick back in 2021, Trevor Lawrence. The numbers from a season ago for Trevor Lawrence, pretty emblematic of that up and down season for Jacksonville. Over 4,000 yards and 21 touchdowns with 14 interceptions has got to be cleaned up for this team to play above the 500 ball they did a year ago. Trevor's athleticism, Trevor's arm is off the charts. Now he and his team got to put it all together consistently. A give right side, here's Bigsby. This is a hand for about five. Harrison Smith in on the stop. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get gains like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Here's Travis Etienne on the ground. And now bottle this up after a four-yard gain. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. Give him four yards there, and they only need one more now on third down. You know, that's a good run right there. Keep the offense on schedule. If he can average that type of yards per carry, this guy's going to be more than all right with letting him lead the show. He's in on third down. yards on the play and enough for a first win the early battle get a little leverage low man wins off the line and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there first and ten from the 41 runs into traffic and hits a wall no gain Ivan Pace able to make the stop call it no gain on that run and they face second and ten you know, Kate, over the years, I've heard running backs say there's just times you got to run in the darkness. And when linebackers fill that hole like that right in the middle of the field, he ran right into the darkness and the pain of that linebacker. Lawrence now off the play action. He's on the move. Now here he goes again. And he evades any kind of trouble, but only a short game to show for it after sliding down. That is quarterback play 101. Maybe not the first chapter of it, but man, is that important. Getting downfield, get what you can with your legs, then most importantly, protect yourself. Get down and don't take any extra contact. Throwing his Lawrence on third down. He'll get this to ETN. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Here we go. Here's one of those game situations that just puts a smile on my face because I can think from Pop Warner to the NFL, everybody on the field thinking the same thing. Can we go for it? Can we get one more shot as you end up just short on that third down? Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. And following that return, we've got an injured player down there. He'll receive some assistance as we step aside. No 
That'll get this drive started. First and ten. Starting the drive with a give to Jones. And he gets it forward to show about a yard out of that. Devin Lloyd on the tackle. Now after the run, we see some trainers headed out for an injured player who was shaken up. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Back now, pressure on its way. That one falls to the turf, couldn't hang on, it's incomplete. You know, that's one of those situations you want to get your back in space. Well, you accomplish that. Unfortunately, you don't make anything happen because you don't bring the ball in cleanly. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Darnold looking to throw. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL where they come down to a play or two and third down. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, the coach wants to see them convert those. Now we'll see Ryan Wright come on for the Vikings to punt this away on four. And he collects the fair catch just inside the 35. So no return on that punt. And it'll be Jaguars football. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Now Lawrence on the play fake. He's Marley something here and just chucks it away they would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws those chunk throws getting a completion like that well not only does it spark your offense but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling couldn't connect on first it's second down Lawrence in the pistol We often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. ETN gets it on the draw. And he's charged towards the line. It's right around three yards. And we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Second down now, seven to go. Well, wheeled in by Thomas. And it's almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. That was Stephon Gilmore stopping that play. Third and six for them to figure out now. Out of the gun, Lawrence. Through caught at the six. It's a chance and no touchdown. So on first score of the game here as they cap off that drive with a touchdown. It's really what you're looking for, Kate, offensively. You want to force the other guys into thinking they need to play a little catch-up right away. So a nice job to get that first score and take early control of this game.
Cam Little to try the extra points. The point after splits the upright. And the Jaguars will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Ty Chandler to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Here's Darnold to throw. That's Jefferson. He's got it. And he gets him around six there. Darnell Savage brings that to an end. Kate, if you and I took a whirlwind tour and watched young quarterbacks, the hardest route to complete is this one. A lot of them could throw go routes and slants and drags and in cuts. But throwing that out route takes some time, takes some precision, and a whole bunch of trust between QB and receiver. Second and four. Looking for a target. No one open, so he checks this to another county. You know what I like about this shot down the field, Kate? It keeps a defense honest. They know defensively, if we overcommit, we could get firm deep. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Here's Donald. Ability to track the ball, but ball skills isn't just knocking it away, and that's a beautiful job there, Kate. The ball skills is also being able to track a ball on a deeper throw like that. If you don't swat it away, you're looking at a huge game. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And it'll be their football. They're out and set, first and ten. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Bails out of the pocket quick. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards, second down, coming up. These quarterbacks are so good with their clock in their head between the tackles. But you get outside the pocket, and you've got to have that same ability. If you hesitate for a second, the defenses with their speed at this level, they'll find a way to bring you to the ground. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Trying again, following the set. Connects on the crosser. Rolling into enemy territory. And as they bring him down, let's check the penalty flag. Fighting all he could to keep his quarterback upright, but cross the line there. That earns the holding penalty. Offense to the line for second down. From the shotgun, Lawrence. Pass brought in by Parker Washington. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. So now here's third and five. Lawrence working from the gun. Complete beyond the marker. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. 
It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. First and ten from the 41. Back to throw. Here's Lawrence. Davis there to grab it. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. A whole bunch of credit goes to just about everybody on that offense. Guys up front needed to give the QB enough time to let that play develop. Excellent effort by that receiver to stay alive and for the quarterback to scan the field and find his completion. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They're going play action. Play 23 yards to move those chains. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. 6 in the air with Lawrence. for negative yards anyway, so no need for them to accept that penalty. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. Duke the defender. And he's stopped just before he reaches the red zone at the 21. Okay, this is why coaches across all levels of football harp on the importance of good, fundamental tackling, not just to hear themselves talk. Uh-uh, it's to make sure that when one of their guys has a chance to bring down a running back, they're able to do it and keep those plays from going any further. Third down, Lawrence to throw. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. Couldn't find Brian Thomas Jr. on that throw. And fourth and four coming up. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And this one is center chains. Couldn't have hit that much better. Anytime you start sniffing that red zone and you don't score six, you only come away with three points. Not what you're looking for on the call sheet. On now is Cook to kick this away. Brandon Powell with the return. This return makes it up to the 25. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Doesn't get beyond the line. Devin Roy on the tackle. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. Made it all look so simple, didn't he? That linebacker sorting right through the traffic, finding the runner. That's instincts come to life. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Darnold now to throw. Pushes him back, third down, coming up. As much as we talk about offenses wanting to stay ahead of the chains, they want to stay on script. Well, the defense, they want to rip that script up. And a sack like that, creating third and extra longs, it's exactly how you get it done.
Jaguars with an extra defensive back out there. Third down. Throwing here, Darnold. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. Well, they have the right shot. Did a shot away from it, but couldn't connect. And now they're stuck facing fourth down. Well, that's a major missed opportunity for the offense and a sigh of relief for the defense. They've got to adjust a little bit, get some extra help on the back end of your defense to take those shots away. Ryan Wright on the punt. And he's had a very busy game already, Brock. Third time they've called on him as he gets this away. And he's hit before he can get anything on that return. No return on that punt. And they're going to take over possession. The Jaguars in a good starting spot for this drive. Coming up, first and ten. Here's Etienne to begin the drive. And he's going to get stopped right around the 45-yard line. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Hey, even though that was an excellent run, i got to talk about the receivers here, Kate, because nine times out of ten, you see a run like that in this league, 10-plus, you know those guys on the outside are doing their job, shining as blockers, keeping those defenders away from the back. Going to the ground again on first. And he's going to be blocked down at the 35-yard line. And they can go ahead and stay in that huddle. We're at the end of the first quarter. It's a two-score game early. Back to Everbank Stadium in just a bit. Back for the second quarter. It's Jaguar football. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Now we give left side to Bigsby. And he's into the front for a game of about two. to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Looking to throw. Lawrence. No place to go, so he just threw it away. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. I think his decision-making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. <laughs> this QB can run, and he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. They'll send Logan Cook out again for the punt. Brandon Powell on the return for the Vikings. This is away, and once again, he's caught all of it. So this one carries all the way to the sideline and out. No chance to make a play on that, and they'll take over at the 16-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now Darnold. Completed over the middle. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Devin Lloyd on the tackle. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. going to cost the defense five yards. So 
So keep that second and short play in your back pocket. So the penalty goes ahead and gives them the first. careful and I'll raise my hand of thinking that play was just a nothing burden because what can happen from that cape is he put some nice toppings on it a play action pass a shot that comes down the road with what looked like a very plain play eight yards to go well, let's see how they approach this second down from the 29 the DB's best friend's pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Third ball from here. To the right, hold in by Jefferson. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, I promise you some money will follow. My team is on now, and they get this away. He calls for the fair catch and has it at the 22-yard line. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And they'll get ready to go on offense. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. From the gun, ETN gets it. And he gets a few on the punch forward. Second down now, seven to go. They go right back to ETN. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. He musters up three yards on the run. That sets up third and four. is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth cape, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Second and 13. Has him on the quick hitter. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them and the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. Out of the gun, Lawrence. a pickup of nine and that's a jaguar first down you know kate they say a dog is a man's best friend a tight end that moves the chains on third down that's a qb's best friend yeah, 
On first and ten, here's Lawrence. Short pass brought in. He's got to gain a six there. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Second and four. No team has over the middle there. Lucky that one didn't end up worse. That swat away incomplete. I'll tell you what, Kate, that's a really nice play in coverage. That linebacker looking like a quarterback on that play. Perhaps those cover guys could take some notes and how to stay in position and most importantly, swat that pass away. From the gun on third down. Escapes the pocket. They'll make a big play on the ground. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field. And then when it's his time to take it himself. Set now, first and ten. Tight end going in motion here. First down throw, Lawrence. He's got the hook up to Ingram. And they're going to take this in for the Jacksonville touchdown. The Jaguars making a 16-point ball game. It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every ref, Tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work with. Right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they can be a difference maker, he'll look for them. On his little for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Jaguars take a three possession lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Powell now to return. Coverage team gets him down to the 26-yard line. Starts out with a first and ten. They go play action here. Connects with his back, Aaron Jones. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. These intermediate gains, that's the wheelhouse for these two to connect on. Start the series off well. And it sure keeps the defense on its toes in case they try to load up and just simply cover the receivers. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now they'll throw out of the gun. Pass his man. It's Addison. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Two yards on the pickup. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. Marker's reset, ball at the 37. Darnold. Pass is caught by Addison. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal game with space to add after that. He picked up a good chunk, and there was nearly room to add even more. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. He's got a man in motion. Throwing now, all play action. 
Connects on the crosser. And they get this down to the 44 before he stopped. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First and 10, here's Jones. And he'll get this forward, and he's stopped at the 37. Good run, gets him seven. That brings up second and three. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards, and they just got a very successful one. Second down carry for Jones. Breaks even, but that's it. Rocked out at that line of scrimmage. Devin Lloyd on the tackle. Nothing for him on that play as we've hit the two-minute warning. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. To throw. Here's Darnold. That's Jones working the sideline. Complete. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. A nine-yard gain and good for a first down translatable skills that's what you call it so effective as a runner but those same traits that make him a great runner adept at getting those yards well he translates now as a receiver in the open field and they've got themselves another first and ten Darnold looking to throw big catch is made it's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll bring up a Minnesota first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. Working inside the red zone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. It arrived as the ball did to break things up. And we'll see what they do here on second down. Darnold now to throw. The throw is caught. And he drives this forward to the six. Here they come. This is third and five. Here's Donald to throw. Oh, he's holding up. They're able to drop it. The Jaguars are going to call their first time out. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. So on fourth down, out comes John Parker Romo for the Vikings field goal. It's a 34-yarder from that right hatch. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And the gap closes to 14 points. You always feel like you leave a few points on the field when you kick it from here. But they don't wind up empty-handed on the track. And the kicker, well, he gets to pad his stats a little bit with a high percentage make. Here's Romo to handle the kickoff. Here's Parker Washington with the return. Good looking return here, and he's got room. The return manages to get jumps beyond the 30. They've got first down from the 31. Defense, 
Lawrence working from the gun. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. This is why we hear about closing speed so often when you evaluate players. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released and alter that throw. Second and ten. Here's Lawrence. And he brings it in, but got too close to the sideline there. They're ruling him out of bounds. We've got third down. The best of the best, they just have this intuition, Kate. They know where the boundary is. Now we have a stoppage. No challenges inside of two minutes and the half, but the replay official wants to take another look at this on their own. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin for mm -hmm. error, and it happens oh so fast. Well, good thing they reviewed it, because after further examination, the call on the field has changed. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. They put a receiver in motion right. Third down, Lawrence to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. They get 13 on the pickup. And that'll be good for a Jacksonville first down. Okay, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s. First is man on the drag route, run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you could find a completion just like that. They send the tight end in motion. First and 10, it's Lawrence. Completed over the middle. And he has it to the 42 before they make the stop. Timeout taken by the offense, they're second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Second and three now. Sticking in the air with Lawrence. Escapes out to the left. Now here he goes. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Just before halftime, we get a timeout ticket. Cam Little now to try the Jags field goal. It's a deep shot for him from that left hash. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. So we're halfway through this contest from Jacksonville. The hometown Jaguars out in front. Now we'll send you down I-95 a couple hours to Orlando, depending on traffic. And we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He's got our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll let you and Brock catch your breath as we welcome the rest of you to our EA Sports Halftime Report. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Now is Cook to kick this away. Powell now to return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. They're out and set. First and ten. Give up the middle to Jones. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. 
Kane, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Man in motion here. First down, and they go right back to him. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. Stopped by Foyer Oluoku. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Okay, this why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. You've got to break your tendencies. The casual fan, well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. Here we go, second and nine. Jones reels it in. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Okay, that's one of those situations as a quarterback that on my great sheet, that's a negative. That screen was ambushed by the defense, and you've got to throw it away. Just find a way to put it in his feet and not create a negative play for your offense. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Now motion him out of the backfield. Able to find Hopkinson. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. That's just discipline with a capital D. The play in the huddle is a running back screen, but it takes discipline for that offensive line to not get downfield. Discipline for that receiver to stay alert, stay aware that he's a viable option as well. Minnesota lined up in punt formation. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is it far. And little to nothing on that return as the coverage team gets to him. Officially a 55-yard launch. And it's going to be their football coming up. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Lawrence now off the play action. Finds him on the crossing route. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. Quite the start to that drive, huh? The first place sets him up now at the 38. Out of the gun, a give to ETN. And he's charged towards the line. It's right around three yards. Hey, not a bad play by any means, but there's room for more, and they know it. Second down now, seven to go. They send a tight end in motion. On second down, it's ETN. And he finds his way up to the 47 before he stops. That's going to be a gain of six, and they need only inches now here on third down. They'll come away happy getting that type of output on most run plays. It's a sign. Well, they're getting some good push up front, and this running back is seeing the lanes and paying them off. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. ETN again. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Most of the people watching will forget about that play in a couple minutes, but the coaches won't forget. He has that filed away the next time he really needs to pick up a few yards. On the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Again, right side, here's Bigsby. And he gets a few on the plunge forward. Second down now, seven to go. He'll give this up the middle to ETN. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. 
This is one of those plays that I wish we had the huddle mic'd up, Kate, because I can assure you that offensive line in their own way is telling that running back, sorry, we did not give you any chance. This drive in jeopardy. Here's a third and ten. Out of the gun, Lawrence. He beams one deep right side. And they really went for it on third down, didn't they? But the heave falls incomplete. Now they're facing fourth down. This one misses the tight end. And that brings up fourth and long. It is such a weapon offensively when you've got a big tight end that can stretch the field vertically. Not a lot of DBs have the size to cover him. They tried to get it to him in that spot where he could win it, but unfortunately, no connection to be made. And this looks like it got just inside the 20 as it flew out, and indeed it did. They're putting the ball at the 19-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Motion man right is Jefferson. Starting the drive with a give to Jones. And he found some running room for a nice game. It's an eight-yard pickup. Then they're going to have second and two next. That's what I call a rhythm starter right there. The offense is love. Execution and plays like that on first down, Kate. Because now, that playbook is wide open. All options on the table for second down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Now he'll throw off the play fake. Flushed out of the pocket. He's running with it. He wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that played good enough for a first. Five yards on that play, and enough for a new set of downs. I love that play. I, I mean, that's quarterback 101. Nothing downfield. Get what you can with your legs, but so much more importantly, protect yourself. Availability, one of the most important abilities for any quarterback. Here's Donald. A dangerous throw, and he almost got burned by it. The interception dropped and incomplete on first down. Well, that's like a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It takes both to make it work. And defensively, you've got to have that pressure up front. That's peanut butter. And then you'd like to have some jelly. And that was almost a huge play with an interception. A give left side to Jones. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. Stopped by Fourier Oluoku. No gain on the play, and they still need 10 now on third down. These linebackers of today, they are so quick. They're so twitchy. You don't get a body on them in a hurry, they're going to stick you right at the line of scrimmage. Third and 10. Can this offense get it done? They kick the running back in motion. Hutkinson reels it in. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Now about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. Man, did he make an impact play. We just laid it down to approach here from the 40. Play action on first down. Just huck this one into row C, and some lucky fan is going to haul in a heck of a souvenir. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throw in here, Darnold. Toward the sideline and cut by Addison. And he'll be out of bounds just a yard or two short of that 25. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Kate, when you watch the combine, you'll watch guys try to make this throw. Without chemistry, it's so hard to execute. That was picture perfect. That's a QB and receiver on the same page because that route, that deep out to the field, that takes a, just a different level of connectedness. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. Stopped by Fourier Oluoku.
Second and six coming up here. Before the snap, some early movement. Let's see which side gets tagged with the penalty. So he jumped too early, and that's going to cost him five yards. All right, here we go. Second down. Darnold has his man. It's Addison. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Now Darnold. This one's caught. And he's able to get it to the two before the stop. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And he gets in. Touchdown. The Vikings shrinking the lead some in the third. Wow, Brock, hard to imagine a more effective play in their entire playbook for that particular spot right there. You know, you get in this red zone, Kate, you want the ball in the hands of the guys you do trust the most to score. In a lot of cases, well, you trust your quarterback, and all he did was add to that trust. John Parker Romo out to try the point after. Extra point set right down the middle. And the Vikings cut the lead down to 10. That lead trimmed just a bit, down to 10 points now, as the kick is up and away. Washington now to return. And bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The Jaguars and Trevor Lawrence set to take over on offense once again. First and ten now from the 30. Inside handoff goes to ETN. And it's a nice little chunk here, six yards. Brought to the ground by Cameron Bynum. Give him around six, that's going to make it second and four. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you got. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's a play that won't pop on the stat sheet, but the players and coaches won't forget about it. I promise you that. Coaches will file that one away the next time. They really need to pick up a few yards. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Defense is all over this one for a big loss. Sometimes the surprises work out for a nice game. And sometimes, well, those surprises, they don't surprise anybody. And you're left hoping your running back just gets up. Back to the line they go. It's second down. Here's ETN. He's contained at the line for no game. That tackle made by Blake Cashman. He didn't get anything on that run, so struggles on the ground, leaving them with third and long. 
You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. Got to figure out this third down here. From the shotgun, Lawrence. He's throwing deep to the left. He's got it inside the 25. And they're going to take this in for the Jacksonville touchdown. The Jaguars lengthen the lead at the end of the third. Brian Thomas Jr., the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. I love plays like this, Brock. Sometimes you just got to ask your dude, show me what you got, man. Show off those wheels, and he did just that. Yeah, beauty in simplicity, right? Yeah. You know, when you run that fly route, <laughs> you got to win right from the jump. Uh -huh. And you got to protect yourself from the sideline, too. Don't get pushed to the boundary. Give your quarterback room to throw it up, and you can find Pater. Little able to connect on the point after. And the Jaguars take a three-possession lead. Now is Cook to kick this away. Powell now to return. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. right this is Jones and he finds space for about a three-yard gain Tyson Campbell the man on that tackle give him a few yards on that run it's second and seven a touchdown aside in that frame as we run out of time in the third quarter it's not quite over yet but it take a pretty miraculous comeback we've got a three-score game as we get set to start the fourth quarter Second down now, seven to go. To throw, here's Darnold. Dumps it off to his running back. He breaks the tackle. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Third and four coming up now. Darnold looking to throw. And yeah, this one is dropped and incomplete. He had the pick in his hands. From hang on, it's going to be fourth down. You feeling lucky? Well, do you? Well, he should because the quarterback got away with one right there. That was an easy pick dropped by the defense. Third down pass didn't work, but the offense staying out there on four. Darnold now to throw. Getting out to his left. He's running for it. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. They hit him for five yards on fourth down and get the successful conversion. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays right before the snap. You know, if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Throwing from the gun. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. And he couldn't connect with Jordan Addison. So it's second down coming up. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bat. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. He's going to push one deep down the right. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. You know, ball skills are not just a selling point for receivers entering the draft. 
teams want defenders, especially in this day and age of the passing game, who can make plays on the ball, too, especially on these deeper throws. He doesn't swap that one away. We could be looking at a huge game. Throw on third down. Gets himself free. He's trying another one deep. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done. Incomplete. Could not beat the defender there. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. How many times do defenders hear from their coaches, read and react, read and react? you got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and more importantly, you got to react as he begins to throw and knock that ball away. Here he goes. Got to have this on fourth down. He's got him. That's Addison. He does it. Touchdown, Minnesota. The Vikings get it back to within two possessions. Jordan Addison, the touchdown. So no mistake in that play call, Brock. They send nope. everybody on deep goes, and it winds up paying off. What a play. And you'd think on the other side, defensively, they'd be ready for this. But this is truly a breakdown in the secondary. Mm -hmm. They're just not able to make a play on the ball in the air. And the end result, as you said, a big play and a touchdown. Romo on to try the point after. The point after splits the upright. And the Vikings cut the lead down to 10. That lead trimmed just a bit, down to 10 points now as the kick is up and away. Here's Duvernay on the return. He stopped on the return at the 27th. The Jaguars done running back Travis Etienne, trotting back out to the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Lawrence working from the gun. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. You know, I don't fault that look at all, Kate, downfield. It was just an excellent defensive play to deny him the ball and knock it away. That is good on good. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Now Lawrence down the play fake. He intercepts it. That is exactly what they needed. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. Hey, listen. When you're throwing down the middle of the field, you have got to be crystal clear in your vision. There are so many defenders that can get into those zones. It might be a case of the QB there trying to do a little bit too much and certainly didn't see the defender who comes up with the big interception. Set it down, score him at the 38. They go play action on first. Too much lead on that throw. That falls incomplete ahead of his target. No luck finding his receiver that time. And it sets up second down. Boy, offenses that connect in this intermediate zone are so effective. Getting the completion in that area, and not just sparks your offense, but it just turns that aggressive meter way up. They just couldn't quite find the connection. Has the connection to Hawkinson. And he's able to get this down to the 36. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Well, there's their consistent source of positive yardage.
the trusty tight end. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Here's Donald to throw. Into the hands of Jefferson. Complete. And he runs this to the 25 before being brought down. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Yeah, these end cuts maybe aren't the hardest throws from a degree of difficulty, Kate, but it does take some courage as a quarterback to throw into congested spaces, but it can pay big dividends. Out of the gun, a gift to Jones. And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. They get an even 10 on that play. And that's going to give the Vikings the first down. To be a stud back in this league, it takes more than just checking the athletic boxes. There's an IQ, a feel, a patience and craftiness required, along with just tremendous vision. He showed all of it navigating that run up the middle. Working inside the red zone. He's on the move. He'll step up, and there he goes. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. You know, these are the type of plays that really get an offense going. This is a chance for QB to inspire the guys around him. Calling his own number, carrying his teammates to a first down on that big run. That inflates an offense, and it can suck the wind out of that defense. Goal to go, they're passing. Able to find Jones. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, there was never a play in any playbook I ever saw designed for a lost yardage play when you throw the ball. But if there's any solace, at least it was first down. A couple more chances to make up for it. It's second and goal. Back down, pressure on its way. Rolling left, buying some time. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop it. And they're headed in reverse after that sack. You get into the red zone and every detail matters. It matters on the whole 100 yards. But, Kate, once you get inside this red zone, it is so critical. And let's tip our cap to the defense on the details, creating that sack. So now, here's third and goal. Dropping back to throw. Escapes the pocket. You know, Kate, they always say that QB clock, you know what it's more like? It's more like an alarm, especially in a situation like that. And it's a good thing you woke up to it, able to make something out of nothing and at least keep it moving forward. So on fourth down, out comes John Parker Romo for the Vikings field goal. Sending this straight at it. Flying down the heart of the lane, and it's good! And it pulls him back within one score here in the fourth. His make there, they had to have that one. And it really does set up a judgment call down on the field. And this is where special teams coach and head coach are talking about game management. You've got three timeouts left, so you really can write either script you want. Onside kick or send it deep. Just like that, we're back to a one-possession ball game as the kickoff is away. Washington now to return. Coverage team gets him down for 26-yard line. The Jaguars and Brian Thomas Jr. readying for another drive on offense. They're out and set, first and ten. Here's ETN to begin the drive. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline in his own line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. They go right back to ETN. And he'll be brought 
brought down along the 25-yard line. It's only a gain of one. Back-to-back -back misfires on the ground, and they're facing third and long. series <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was getting the sack setting up fourth down well it picks everybody up on that sideline and now their offense gets a chance in a one score game the Jaguars in a punt formation and after that drive went backwards he's gonna send this one forward jukes one defender and some textbook work covering that punt. It is stopped after almost nothing on the return. Now the Minnesota offense trotting out. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And, man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. So good field position to start with for the Vikings. This drive, first and ten. From the gun, Jones gets it. And they'll get him down after he gets it to the 48. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. Yeah, you want to get about five yards to carry? I'll put together runs like that. And I'll tell you what else a run like that does, Kate. That sets up the play action. But when you really just down to gash the defense like that, the next time you run that action, you're going to be thinking running the ball to go right over their head. Going to the ground again on first. And the pass is out of bounds, and now they're going to learn who the penalty flag is on. So now, partner, got to reevaluate what to do on this next snap because the holding call pushes him back quite a ways. Putting the receiver in motion. Running it after the penalty. And he takes it across midfield and into Jaguars territory. That's eight yards on that run, and now it's second down. real close but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down you make that call to just give yourself a fighting chance on third down Kate take at least a little bite of the big deal between them and the first down marker and that that should make this upcoming call a little less daunting third and a lone yard coming up he's back to throw that one falls to the turf but hang on it's incomplete you know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad. My fault. Quarterback delivers it a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. Offense still staying out after the incompletion. They're going to try on four. Back to throw it. That's cut beyond the marker. And he gets down to the 24 before he stops. Left the offense out there on fourth down, Brock, and look at the result. A big game. They got 15 and the first. I love those moments of truth. We get to see exactly how they handle it with all the pressure that drives right on them. Turns out, handled it pretty darn well, and now they'll keep pushing on. The drive picks up here, first and ten. Here's Darnold. We'll get this to Jefferson. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Second and six coming up here. Jones trying the left side. 
And he's brought down for a loss. Kid, I'll never forget walking into the Hall of Famer Dwight Freeney's meeting room with those defensive linemen. The late, great John Tierlink, his coach, he had a little sign up in his, in his office, and it was sacks, and that money sign was the S, because ends and D linemen make their money with sacks. But you win games when they stop the run like that for a tackle for loss. A less than ideal third and eight here. Now to throw. He had a throw, but a great defensive play to Charles Lewis incomplete. Just couldn't hang on through the contact. And now they're staring at fourth and long. As a defense, you got to see the pass. You got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on the bat line through a well-placed hit. Desperation time here on four. And it's going to be incomplete. Couldn't connect to extend the drive. So the defense rises to the challenge and gives the ball back to their offense. You know, kid, I don't think I've ever met a defender that cares. All they want to do is get off the field. Doesn't matter if it's a drop pass, deflection, breakup, even an interception. Challenged by the offense to get one more stop to get off the field, and that's exactly what they did. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Here's a give to ETN. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. The Vikings call a timeout. It'll be their first as they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. ETN again. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Minnesota spends its second time out here. And they'll have just one left to burn now. All plays on the table here for third and three. Running it here with ETN. And he'll pick up enough to move the chain. Now the Vikings use their third and final timeout. And they are quite frustrated having to call that after giving up the first. Victory formation here. Looks like they're going to take a knee on first down. He goes to a knee as Tom winds down in this one. There's still some time to bleed off the clock, but the important factor is that the defense is helpless to stop it. You could just run that clock down as far as you're able and take off every single second. Second down, probably going to see him kneel it again here. On second down, it's ETN. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. You know you love some of my buzzwords, kid. I know you do. And this one, this one was about Will Power. He got to rock a long way from the chains and put his teammates on his back for a heck of a run and a great try at that first down. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to take down. Nothing left to do now, Kate, but celebrate on one side and watch on hopelessly from the other. What a hard-fought effort to get to this spot. And now you can enjoy the victory. So the Jaguars come away with the win in this one. And finally, Brock, they can exhale and take a few breaths because uh, I don't imagine any of them were breathing easy during that one with how close this game was. Them or us? Or both? <laughs> all of us. <laughs> yeah, D, is, all of the above. It, it is so hard, Kate, to match the adrenaline surge they feel right now and that they felt in every major turn throughout the second half. There's just something about a close game, the intensity that's there in every moment that you love to experience as a player, 
and that you hope in all these moments you can execute so you're the one celebrating